Namaste. In an earlier video, I had presented to you how certain decisions of the Supreme Court of India are effectively ending up impeding the probe of recruitment scam in West Bengal. In this video too, I will present to you another example how another decision of the Supreme Court of India is effectively ending up not only impeding the probe of recruitment scam in West Bengal but also guarding the interest of certain ineligible candidates who got teachers jobs by offering bribes to the concerned authorities. On July 7 this year Calcutta High Court single bench of Justice Abhijit Ganguly had ordered open publishing of OMR sheets of the Tate examination 2016 of those candidates who had applied to the School Service Commission for teachers jobs in class 11 and 12. Calcutta High Court single bench ordered such in relation to the appeal of a single candidate named Bobita Shortcut. Following such an order of the single bench, Certain other candidates had challenged that order in the Calcutta High Court Division Bench, but the Division Bench of Justice Shoman Shen and Justice Uday Kumar had turned down their plea. Justice Shoman Shen said, What is the harm in making Weimar sheets public? Turned down by the Calcutta High Court Division Bench, the appellants had moved to the Supreme Court of India where the Division Bench of Justice Aniruddha Bose and Justice Dipankar Dato was scheduled to hear the case on July 24 Monday while they didn't hear the case on Monday rather rescheduled it on Tuesday. While looking at the appeal Justice Dipankar Dotto had expressed his disgust that the volume and scale of the West Bengal recruitment scam is such that only Bhagwan can save us. His comment had made headlines in the Calcutta newspaper while it reminded me of a similar statement of an ED advocate in a Calcutta court in March 2023. While ED took some iron shield in their grip, an advocate of the ED said in the court that initially we thought that there is corruption in relation to recruitment through SSC and TET examination but now we can see that there is corruption in the recruitment of the all sectors of the government, the recruitment scam is, abs is an absolute gold mine and the volume, of, volume and scale of the recruitment scam is such that only Bhagwan Shri Krishna can help us. And as much as I can remember that the ED advocate had also chanted some shloka from Srimad Bhagavad Gita. So, while probing the West Bengal recruitment scam, the democratic institutions of Bharat are repeatedly invoking God. While on Tuesday, the same case was not finally heard by the division bench of Justice Bose and Justice Dotto. Rather, the case was heard on Tuesday by the division bench of Justice Aniruddha Bose and Justice Bela Tribedi, where Justice Aniruddha Bose had ordered that the OMR sheets does not need, do not need to be published in the open. Rather, the Weimar sheets need to be submitted to the Supreme Court in sealed envelopes. So, by doing this, Justice Aniruddha Bose apparently protects the um, interest of certain such candidates who got teachers jobs in class 11 and 12 by paying bribes. Because Justice Aniruddha Bose had stayed the Calcutta High Court single bench order of open publishing of Weimar sheets. By an open publishing of Weimar sheets, we can remember, we can recall that the appellant stated in the Calcutta High Court division bench that by the open publishing of Weimar sheets, certain candidates might lose their jobs. So, this means that by open publishing of Weimar sheets, certain ineligible candidates would have got exposed. Justice Aniruddha Bose's stay on the Calcutta High Court single bench order would effectively end up protecting the interest of such ineligible candidates who got the jobs by paying bribes to the concerned authorities. So, this is another example how the Supreme Court of India is not only impeding the probe of the recruitment scam but also ending up guarding the interests of Mm, the ineligible candidates too.
and the implication of guarding the interest of ineligible candidates in teachers jobs definitely appears to be impeding the probe of recruitment scam because until and unless the wrath of law is faced by the bribe givers it would be very difficult for the probe agencies to reach up to the root of the recruitment scam but in this case the supreme court of india is repeatedly impeding the probe and ending up guarding the interest of ineligible bribe giving candidates who got teachers jobs by offering bribes to the concerned authority